New update AITA for refusing to go to my own birthday dinner? I am not the original poster. That is you, Maridal Prashan. She posted in R, am I the asshole in her own post I added paragraphs and turned letters into names for readability. New update marked with. I reached out to her last time and received her permission to post her story. She gave me permission for the two previous BORU posts at the time. Here and here. Trigger warnings. Miscarriage. Medical abortion. Infidelity. Verbal abuse. Physical violence. Assault. Less than. Mood spoiler. Violent but oop is going to be okay. Less than. Original post. March 11, 2023 using a throwaway because my sill knows my main. So a little backstory I, 25F, and my husband Vernon, 36, have been married for five years. It was arranged by my grandfather and his uncle. We are not American so it's common here. Vernon wasn't too thrilled about the marriage and he made it very clear because he was already in a relationship with Felicity, 30SF. Long story short Vernon. His family and Felicity did the most to make my life hell and my dumbass was stuck on the idea that one day he might change. About three years ago I found out I was pregnant and I was excited but he wasn't given we only had sex. A handful of times before that he got it into his head that it wasn't his. The baby had complications and I had to get a medical abortion. Not once did he or his family come to the hospital and I guess that opened my eyes and I just stopped caring. I stopped trying. I just stopped caring. Early last year, he suddenly started caring. Coming home early. Calling me. Bringing me flowers. It was quite uncomfortable for me. Then he tells me that he's had a change of heart and wants to try to better our marriage because he's developed feelings for me. It's all fishy to me honestly. I wouldn't trust this man as far as I can throw him. He's been doing these little things and I just can't shake that there's a joke coming at my expense. Now on to the story. It was my birthday last weekend and Vernon told me his family was hosting me a birthday dinner. I told him I wasn't comfortable with that and the last time I was at his parents they literally told me I was my baby's complications were my fault and kick me out cause Felicity was uncomfortable. Not to mention that they haven't apologized. Just started acting friendly. I kept telling him no and he kept insisting. He let it go and I assumed that was that. I made plans and went out with my mom and cousins and he starts calling me asking me where I am. I tell him and he tells me that he's waiting for me uhhm what? Long story short, his family is mad that I skipped because they apparently wanted to apologize so that we could move forward and Vernon keeps saying he understands why I did it but has been apologizing for everything and nothing. Last night Felicity called to cuss me out because they've left her high and dry and Vernon wants nothing to do with her so maybe they did want to apologize. I thought I was in the right but now even my cousins are telling me I was wrong for skipping. Now I'm doubting myself AITA? Relevant comments. About oop. Yes I do work as a teacher. I don't make much but since everything in the house is taken care of by Vernon. I've managed to save up a sustainable amount. I can leave and there wouldn't be much consequences on myself. Nothing physical anyway. It's my family that would suffer because me leaving would cause them to be shunned by the community. This means they won't be allowed in shops. They could starve and people would watch them because their morals would be put to question. I'm looking into ways to take them with me to the next city. Birth control. Birth control isn't exactly a thing here because it defeats the whole populate the earth thing. So I only get one option which I don't completely trust but we haven't had sex in a year so but I have it just in case. Why did his uncle arrange the marriage? I'm sorry. I don't know how to add an edit to the post but yes. His uncle is the head of the family and doesn't like Felicity because she's not from our culture. 
Vernon didn't go against his uncle because it would lead to his shunning. Marrying me had benefits such as the house we live in and a piece of land in the farming areas. So I guess that was it. His uncle mentioned to the family that the only way the marriage would end was if I was to initiate it. I didn't know about any of this and everything has started making more sense now. One last comment from Oop. Honestly I don't understand the elders reasoning behind our marriage. All I know is that I was of age to marry and had to marry before I was out of season. At the beginning I truly believed we could work it out because that's how most of my relatives. Marriages started out and they are happy now. After I realized it was a lost cause I couldn't leave because a divorce is unacceptable unless there is physical abuse. When F called me to cuss me out she spilled the beans about the house being a benefit of the marriage and the uncle not liking her because she's not from our culture. I plan on asking V or the others about more information because I'm in the dark and it's killing me. I want to make a well-informed decision on my next step going forward. At this point I'm only staying because I don't want my family to suffer the shame of me leaving. Mini update, edit. March 12th, 2023. Next day. Also in comments. Wow. I wasn't expecting this to get as much attention as it has. Am overwhelmed and am sorry if I won't manage to reply to everyone. Thank you for your kind words and advice. Some more info on my family because I saw repeating questions in the comments. My family didn't know about most of what was going on. I chose to not tell them. But they still found out were and are still willing to handle the effects of me leaving but I can't. Let them do that. Everyone is happy and this would disrupt their lives greatly. I can't bring myself to that especially to my little nieces. A few hours after I made the post I decided to have a talk with Vernon after he came home from work. It went somewhat okay. I followed some advice in the comments about starting over on my terms I asked him questions I needed answers to and he gave me answers. I wasn't completely satisfied but it's a start. I told him I would give our marriage a chance but he had to know that he was completely done with Felicity and would be completely on board with this. I told him to stop with the love bombing because it was making me uncomfortable. I told him I would absolutely not be having kids in the near future. I told him I was in no way ready to be his wife and we would continue with our separate rooms. Surprisingly, he was on board with all of this and said that he wasn't a boy anymore and that he was getting older and he needed to sort himself out and make things right. I asked him if he only had a change of heart because he wanted me to take care of him in his old age and he said no. He said he realized that Felicity isn't what he's always wanted and started seeing her manipulate toxic ways. His words. He said he was willing to put the house in only my name. It's 40% mine. Entirely as a way of showing that he is all in and would mess up if I give us a second chance. He said he was willing to give me as much space as I need. He said he'll have a word with his family about me needing time and space and taking baby steps. Honestly. Don't know where this will go at this point. I don't know the direction in which we are headed but am willing to try so I can have a free conscious. I've started making a backup plan to leave but that's in the worst case scenario I'll update if anything significant happens. Update post. Also in comments. April 2nd, 2023. Three weeks later. Hey everyone. So a few things happened that I thought y'all needed to know. First off. I'd like to thank everyone for your care and support. I never thought I'd cry after reading words but you have no idea how much courage your kind words have given me. I told Vernon to go through with the transferring of the house into my name and he did. I guess he knew he would be getting more money. So now I own the house. Nobody was telling me anything about the 180 change so I decided to go to Felicity. I know it was stupid. She was the only one who was willing to give me any information since she's spiteful and I think I got what I needed. It's not much but it's enough to cement my decision.
Turns out, Felicity had her womb removed when she was younger so she can't give Vernon children. The whole family found out and turned against her. And uncle has been speaking of retiring and Vernon has been at war with uncle's sons to either take over the business or become one of the decision makers and a child would guarantee that he would give a large sum of the company's shares that would be in his name and the child's and since Felicity couldn't give him a child. I was the solution. Felicity told me as much as she knew. And so I went to one of Vernon's cousins I confronted him about what Felicity said and after a heated back and forth he finally confirmed everything. I don't know why but that hurt. Even though I knew it was too good to be true I still held on to hope that maybe I was wrong. After conversation I decided to play along until I could get out. He completely cut of Felicity and it's scary just how much he's acting like she never existed. I put in a transfer to a city 12 hours away from here. My head teacher knows my situation and swore not to tell the. I brought up moving to my family and majority of them said I'd be selfish if I did that and their whole lives are here and all that but honestly I feel I should put myself first. I told them it was just a thought and that I would never do that. My mom and brother have been my biggest support system and I'm taking them with me. My cousins is moving with my little nieces to his wife's city. So that's that. I found a house where my mom, brother, two cousins and I will stay. I listed this house for sale on a private auction page. This will cause a big blowout but I won't be here so lol. I live this place in about a 40 days and the most tiring thing is to get my affairs in order. Without rising suspicion. I refused to be intimate with Vernon and told him I wasn't ready he told me we'll work on my time. But I see him getting more and more frustrated each day. Even though I'm scared for myself and my family on what they will do when they find out I've decide to leave and I'm not changing my mind. I'm still young and I honestly don't want to end up like my mother. In a loveless marriage with a cheating alcoholic. I took words of internet strangers for me to realize that and I'm so grateful. I'm sorry if this is all over the place. I'll update if anything changes. OOP's response to me when asked if it was okay for me to post her story. Hello. Thank you so much for your care and support. So far we are safe and everything is going according to plan. I would like for the post to stay up because I want my story to be out there. If anything happens to me I want everyone to know. Update post. April 20th, 2023. 5 weeks from AUG post. Hello again. I didn't think I would be making an update this soon. But I messed up big time. I've never been so scared in my life. So a couple of days after I made the last update. My sister-in-law found the post and showed it to Vernon. I knew my time was up and I had to make a move. So I let my mom and brother know that's we had to be ready to leave at any moment. Vernon was not happy and he made it very clear. He told me we were to have a family meeting the next day. And I knew. I just knew we had to get out. When he went to attend evening prayers. I gathered all important belongs I had and told my mom and brother to get ready because we had to. Leave. I gave them the information they needed to leave in case I didn't make it. We had the meeting in the afternoon and it wasn't pretty. The uncle came and he was angry that I brought shame to the family with my actions and everyone took that as a green light. I ended up with a split lip and a dislocated shoulder and a few broken ribs but at least I didn't go down without a fight. Looking back, I feel proud of myself. I spoke up for myself. I defended myself and the people I love. I honestly thought I wasn't going to come out alive. I couldn't breath properly I couldn't move. For a while I just thought of killing myself because I was in so much pain. But my mom and brother managed to get me out. I don't know how, I don't remember a lot because my memory became foggy but I got out and I'm alive. We reached our new home. My family is still adjusting and I'm still healing. I hope I heal in time to start working. We are safe. Even though I'm scared that they might find us.
Am relieved. I feel free. I just thought I'd let everyone know. How am doing? A lot has happened in so little time sometimes I feel like it's a dream and I'll snap back to reality. I won't say much and I don't think I'll make more posts after this one. Thank you all. Thank you to everyone who supported me. Thank you for your kind words. Thank you for making me realize that I deserved more that I am worth more. To all the women that shared their stories with me. You all gave me the courage that I needed to stand up for myself. No words can ever express my gratitude to you. Internet strangers heartsuit also thank you to the gentleman who asked me out to lunch. Lol. Grace. I know you'll see this. I don't hate you. Just know that you're a woman and you'll also get married but I hope your husband's family doesn't treat you the way you treated me. I wish I could be there to see though look on all your faces when the new owner of the house comes and kicks your beloved brother out of his palace. I wish you everything you deserve in all your future endeavors. If I've left any information please let me know. I mark this as a new update but it also could be concluded. I sincerely wish Oop the absolute best moving forward. I remember reading the last post and being terrified that this would happen. Like the most dangerous time with an abuser is when you leave. And it's not over. I wish Oop all the best. And pray for her safety. So proud that she was able to get out. And I hope she presses charges against the monster for what he did to her. Absolutely horrifying what Oop had to endure to finally get out. So thankful her and her family are now safe healing, and in a place to truly start over. Anyone else super curious what OOP's culture is? My heart aches and I'm so damn angry on behalf of the women who live in that hell. Damn. Fuck Grace. How could you possibly think you are okay? That your family is anything but scum to behave like this. You are the shame. Not Oop. She never did anything wrong. I hope the whole family is miserable for the rest of their lives. To honestly think they have the right to try and harm someone just for not being abused anymore. Oop may you live a long and happy life. Free from these toxic losers. Hell. Grace is pretty much damned if she does. Damned if she doesn't if she sees this. If she does show the update. The family is gonna pressure her to try and find Oop then get upset that she can't produce results. If she doesn't show the update, brother gets evicted. She'll have to hope no one else in the family finds the post because the moment they do, they'll turn on her about not forewarning the brother. She obviously has forgotten the phrase, shoot the messenger. I haven't met a family yet that doesn't do that the moment they realize they can't go after who. They really want to. Oop. I'm happy for you and that you were not only able to get yourself but your steadfast family. Cuz face it. Vernon's family is gonna rip itself apart soon as he will probably wind up being shunned anyway. I'm happy you were able to find a buyer for the home and I hope the money from that sale will get. You and your family a nice vacation away. And finally may Vernon's family and Ilk always have stale spices in their cupboards. Itchy feet and slow draining pipes. Grace, do better. Shame on you. A good reminder for people on Reddit who don't realize how anonymous posting in these cultures can lead to severe harm or even death. My heart goes out to Op. So happy she made it out with loved ones. Grace and Vernon, have the lives you deserve. It is so mind-blowing to me that we have both the internet and cultures like this one existing at the same time. Like, we are so modern yet so archaic. Damn, it's like someone from the past posting on the internet. Hey Grace, you are young and thought you were doing right by your family. But please know, you are just as much a victim of the patriarchy as Op is. I hope, when you need women in your life to stand by you, 
you get treated much better than you treated up. Because no one deserves to be physically abused by men. Fuck you Grace. You suck. You bring shame to womankind. What did I miss? Who is Grace? Grace sucks. I suspected that this story is from one of the Southeast Asian countries where one particular organized religion is majority. Now I am confident about it. I know how women are treated in these countries. I'm probably from your neighboring country. Hope you will be doing fine. That's terrifying to read. Hope the oop is okay. I too hope the family gets everything they deserve. I think I speak for all of us when I say this is the update we all needed. Man. I was so worried about Op. I'm still worried about her. But this was very very good news. Grace can eat a bag of dicks. May OOP's in-laws be treated exactly as they treated her. And may they live interesting times. I need some more time to come up with better curses. Grace. I know you'll see this. I don't hate you. Just know that you're a woman and you'll also get married but I hope your husband's family doesn't treat you the way you treated me. I wish I could be there to see though look on all your faces when the new owner of the house comes and kicks your beloved brother out of his palace. I wish you everything you deserve in all your future endeavors. The best revenge is to live well. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.